Okay, today I'll be showing you how to download Windows 7 Ultimate and well use it for your PCs rather than using XP and Vista. So well um let's get started then. First you go into your um your internet, yeah, or Firefox or Google or whatever and you type in go on Google type in uTorrent so uTorrent and you click the first link you turn 10 and you download it and you download it go through the installation steps and then oh you have used torrent and you will have you torrent then and then you go to this website www dot the pirate bay dot org <coughs> and then this will come up you can also use mini nova but I'd rather prefer this website for the this particular the video tutorial. So then, what you do is you, you type in Windows 7 Ultimate or whatever you want. You can have Vista, or you can have, or you can even have Mac. Uh, you click Applications and you click Pirate Search. It should take about like five seconds or something to load up, and you have all these options. You can click Seeds or SE. Yes, and then you'll get all of these. Click. I'd go for this one then because it has the most seeds. More seeds mean quicker download. And you click on it. And wait for it to come up to its screen. And here you go. You click download torrent. You don't click this download. You click this download torrent. You've downloaded it. You'll go through you torrent or whatever torrent you have, and it'll probably take one or two hours for it to. Um, go through that and once you have it do it to your desktop but it will be an ISO file and there's two ways you can access an ISO file one of them is by burning it onto a DVD or to access it if, you, if your computer does not um, burn DVDs um, is to go back to Google so you go to Google and you type in uh, ma magic I O and you click on downloads and you download you can choose any of these sites you want to and you download them you you double click on it yeah you, yeah and then it'll come up somewhere over here you uh, then you right click mount something and then mount to DVD or something and then it will come up if it if it doesn't come up you're gonna have to go to my computer and it'll be there. So now to activate your Windows 7, uh, you could you have a it will be a 30 day trial. You type in this Windows load, and you click on the second one. Well, these two are both the same. I don't I don't know why that happened. They're both the same. It's for like this this company is really good at activating stuff. And down, and it's quite good for software downloads. So you scroll here until it says update 4th of November 2 and you can there's a Windows 7 Loader 1.93, or you can have the Windows 7 Loader Extreme Edition. I wouldn't go for that uh, for the Extreme Edition one because it, it takes like too that like, like too much time to load and to. Uh, or to do it, uh, if I, I'll just go for this one, Windows 7 Loader 1.93 because it's, it's the fastest, it doesn't take up that much space on your computer and it will probably be loaded in like 2 seconds and uh, well to find out if your computer, if your Windows is loaded and you go on my computer, right click here and click properties Any minute now. Come on. There you go. And then this should come up. Come on. Come on. And as you can see, look, mine's a copyright. I've done the exact same thing that I'm showing you in this tutorial. There. Yeah. That's all my stuff. And look, it says it all right now. It's a Windows activation. It's not available. Product ID is not available. Right now, mine is activated. But it will say over here 30 day tr trial. And over here, I don't have some random product key. But if I wait for some time, it will say, uh, you see, Windows is activated. 
because I've done the exact same thing by going on Windows Loader. So if you have any questions about this tutorial, well, say in that YouTube thing, whatever happens, and uh, comment, rate, and rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.